Marcia's video. Let me give you some updates. Hi Outliers, welcome back to my channel. I am the Fisayo and I'm a travel and lifestyle brand. If you're just joining this squad or watching this video for the first time, welcome and Merry Christmas in advance. Whenever Christmas time is approaching, I'm always so excited because I love the festive season. And I'm yet to serve you with some juice on places to visit this festive season 2018. So I got this mail from a fellow um, reader of my blog, because I have a blog also, deepside.com. Go check it out. And she asked me to give her updates on places to visit um, in Lagos. Yeah. And that's what this video is about. So enjoy! So the first on my list is Echo Hotel. I've been to Echo Hotel several times. It's always going to be my go-to and I always recommend it mostly because it's the festive season and almost all the concert in Lagos takes place at Echo Hotel. So if you're looking out for events, then I suggest you book Echo Hotel. Um, mind you, I will not be able to tell you the prices for the hotels or the rooms or whatever I'm going to suggest to you. But all of it will be listed on my, my blog post. So just check the link in the description below to see more, read more about the prices and the locations of these places. So, but for you to do some research, go check out the co hotel. Uh, it's a big hotel in Lagos and they have, I mean, normal um, Wi Fi, good rooms, swimming pool, good food. I mean, I spent my Christmas there last time. Go check out my vlog here. I spent my Christmas there last year. Hopefully, I do spend my Christmas there this year. It was fun. Go check it out. So, number two is Omo Resort. Omo Resort is fabulous. And it's a coincidence that most of these places are going to be on the island. It's so sad that we have very few places on the mainland. We have. It doesn't mean we don't have. We have. I can give you some tea if you want us. Omo Resort is a fabulous place. I did a video about the resort. It's a fabulous place to visit with your family for, and friends for parties, celebrations, hangout, team bonding, and activities, and all that kind of fun stuff. I did a video. Check it out here while I'm talking. I can. I will also put a collage here or a montage for you guys to watch and see a little bit of the video. So it's, it's a fun place. They have kayaking. You can go kayaking there rather. You can go horse riding there. You can, you know, shoot some shots with some arrows. I don't know. You can just try out so many fun stuff. So it's the only thing here is the location. It's very far. Most of these places are on the island, like I said. So you're going to have to go on some um, road trip. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so the third one is Lupasi Park. I recently just discovered this, this park. It's a conservation center also in Lekki. Now, the popular conservation center that you probably know is Lekki Conservation Center. However, this is different. It has most of what Lekki Conservation Center has. Only that it's, uh, they have this thing that I believe is, is, is unique to them. They, they do a, some form of tree batting. Now, tree batting or forest batting is, you know, it helps you cleanse your system is it's a, it's a, it's a healthy way to basically just breathe in the trees i don't know it's, it's fun it's i went to there <laughs> it starts the picture and i felt good i felt i felt relieved i felt like i released some form of toxin off my body so it's fun to you know enjoy nature if you're a nature lover or a conservationist it should be your good to try out something you've probably been going to the Lekki Conservation Center before and if you haven't visited Lekki Conservation Center it's still on that list go and watch my previous video here yeah also so the next is ruffles and play i recently discovered the game arcade this year also it's a fabulous place basically to play games waste your money because <laughs> you don't know how you will play a game your money will just be finishing like that you know i mean you can actually spend 20k so i don't know if if you wouldn't want to spend that much money then it's not the advisable place to go but it's a place to have fun relax or do something different be feel young for a while like it's, if you're a young adult or if you're an adult try and just let loose i mean it's a great place to basically let loose and have fun and do something out of the ordinary other than drinking. I don't know too much information. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, it's an awesome place to visit. And my only caution is that you, you know, make sure that you plan before you go. Make sure you say, okay, now only 20k I will spend there when I come here. When I go, go there and spend 50,000 euros. So just be careful when you go there. You know that you get invested in some of the games that you really want to win and you start spending all the money. Next, now, Orbit Center. Now, most of these places are new, fun, and I like the vibe that this particular place brings to Lagos. This is the biggest trampoline in West Africa, not just Nigeria, West Africa. And it's called Orbit Center. I've done a video also. Go check it out. Go check it out over here. Yes, it's a beautiful place. You have fun. It's a trampoline center, like I said. You go to jump, 
climb walls. There's a wall climbing place also done for children, for adults. And they do tennis, they, go, they do go karting there. What else? They do basketball, football, so many things. So go check those videos out and <laughs> you'll be wild. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, the last but not the least is Badagri. Now, Badagri is a place that I would recommend to you if you want to go on an adventure and see more of history. Badagri is where the slave trade history is being told. This is also a place where most, no, the, back then when the colonials came to take house, the black people from our country, this was, this was like the entry route and this was the exit route. So Badagri basically has the history of slave trade back in the days and you know, the ornaments that was being used. Basically, just go there. I'll definitely do a video about Badagri so that you guys can also see what I mean. But you can go check it out. I will leave the address and don't forget to check out my blog post. Everything will be explicitly stated in my blog, www.thepistario.com. Yeah. So there are so many other places, so many other places in Lagos that you can visit. I don't, don't want this video to be too long. I want it to be beneficial and of value in a concise way. So if there's any other place you want me to, or there's any other thing you think I should mention more on, let me know in the comment section. Um, however, they are, you know, you can go kayaking, you can go fish, um, go fishing, boat riding, bungee jumping, so many things in Lagos. I did not mention that. If you want me to still mention that, let me know. Let's ask Isaiah. Isaiah, what do you think? Should we tell them or not? And let us see what they want to do. Okay, guys. You heard from Isaiah. Yeah, we are going to wait for you to say something in the comment section. So I will know whether or not the video is going to be of value or you really want it to I'm just wasting my time making videos. No, these videos take a lot of time to make in case you do not know. Yeah, it does. So yeah, events too will be coming up. If you want me to mention the events that you don't want to miss out on or of, let me know in the comment section below. Till next time, don't forget I'm your girl, the Pisayo. Visit my blog, www.thepisayo.com and subscribe to my channel if you're yet to. And share, like, subscribe. All that juicy fun stuff and as usual stay awesome stay inspired